ace in the hole. Okay, Guardians, welcome to another Time Sausages Gaming Guide. And if you've got this far in the Cade's Will quest, then you're ready to do the Ace in the Hole mission. So we need to go to Titan to find it. Now, don't be a complete idiot like me and just... Look, look it's there on the screen. Like, I pass it. I even I read it, but then it. I just carry on going, oh, I don't know where it is. And I, then I just click, and then I start exploring. Well, I'm not lost, but I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. So don't do that. I wasted 20 minutes mucking about. What you need to do is go to the map, click on the mission, and begin. <sighs> what a plum. Here we go. Ace in the hole. Now, it's quite a straightforward mission, really. Just go from A to B. But the trickiest part of it is finding some of the caches as they're hidden to the left and to the right of the trail. But as you go, Ghostly will let you know if you've gone too far and missed one so you can go back. But as it was with the caches on Io and Nessus and things like that, as you can see on the screen, it says, Kate stash nearby, and there it is, a glowing box. And what's wonderful about these is you get to hear Cade speaking them. This one's for Eris Morn. Info Parp! <laughs> yes, I know it's not Nathan Fillion's voice, but I think Noel and North does a splendid job. I miss Nathan Fillion. <clears throat> if you're listening to this, congrats on killing me. I assume you became a hive death god and fed me to your worm cult. <sighs> that or you just finally got sick of me. Coincidentally, if you didn't kill me and still somehow hear this, I'm sorry for stealing your ship. And, well, pretty much every other interaction we ever had. But to be clear, if you did kill me, I do not apologize, and I will consider all my actions 100% justified. Either way, feel free to put your rock on my maps now. I don't need him anymore. Detecting a stash nearby. There you go. There's number two. Nice and easy to spot over on the right there. This one's for that armless coward, Tanix the Scarred. If you're listening to this, you killed me. But I bet I took a big chunk of your ugly husk with me. Guess Handel Brask wasn't enough for you, huh? You wanted another Hunter Vanguard for your sick collection? I got my share of regrets, sure, but not putting a bullet in you has got to rank in the top three. Won't be long before a better guardian than me puts you in your place. Just wish I could be there to see it. And that gunshot you can hear on the edits is actually the Ace of Spades going off. Nice touch, I thought. Anyway, after that one, you've got to keep on going forwards as usual, and you can have a slight scrap here with through Thrall and a large ogre-type chap shooting you in the face with his purple death. Dispatch of him quickly. Oh yes, and there's also another knight who's got a bit of a yellow bar. He's easy to kill. Excellent. Dim stash eye so far. Go stash number three nearby. A couple of shriekers, well one shrieker actually, and thrall. After you've killed the squealing wretches, and there's quite a few of them, make your way to the top of the hill here. Get stuffed. We missed some stashes. Better turn around. Ugh. And as you heard, Ghostly pointed out that we've gone too far. But I find that if you go to the top of that hill, turn round, you can see the stash very clearly here. There it is. Look, you can see it from the top of the hill, boys and girls. Let us go and have a look. Yes, I'm right. As you can see, there's a little valley here. Just jump your way up the valley and over the back, and it should be relatively simple to get to. There she is. Oh, I've fallen. Oh, come on. There it is. This one's for the fellow who calls himself the Drifter. You did warn me running with you would put a target on my back. Guess I'm in good company, though, huh? After all, never had any fun without a little risk. That's the whole idea with the operation you're putting together, ain't it? My idea, by the way, had it like a million years ago back when you were still handsome. So, uh, you're welcome. You know, getting that up and running means coming out of hiding giving you-know-who another shot at you. Hope I was around to see that showdown. Personally, my money was on the guy with the golden gun. But hey, what do I know? I'm dead. But not forgotten. Here we go, keep on going, back up the hill where I turn you to look round from. There's one, another one nearby. And there it is, a stash flashing on the screen. Where is it? Well, then, where are you? It's actually directly above your head. See these orange globules? Jump up these rocks yeah. until you can reach the top of the orange globules, thusly. I can see 
There she blows. And there you go. There's your f- the fourth one. Fifth one? Fourth one. Grab it with love. Petra. He fancies her. If you're listening to this, you killed me. Maybe the Sobs, in all their mysterious wisdom, decided they were sick of me? If the Queen ordered the hit, I guess I understand. You're a real glutton for chivalry. But if it was Aldrin, I'm pissed. Just thinking about that peacock gives me a headache. But I'm betting my death was another case of your famous collateral damage. Because you're a real do-gooder. Seriously, it's annoying. But good deeds never go unpunished when you're around. You just... You got a blast radius, PV. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Oh, and uh, tell Paladin Orin, if the sun over Nessus escapes nebula cycle, evac labor after dawn under solstice. You got that, PV? I have no idea what any of that meant, but it sounds damned intriguing. Anyway, here's his next stash. It's pretty close. Globule hopping again. Here you go. Jump on this rather large bogey up here. A bit tricky because of the outcrops, but you can do it. Go on, you can do it. On top of the bogey, there you go, and turn right, and there it is, across the way on the bridge. There's another stash. So you can see that one from that one over there. This one's for the mines behind the deep stone crypt. You think just because you made me, you can unmake me? Hey, I understand. If I were you, I wouldn't want people knowing what I did either. Guess you better hope I didn't tell anyone about the crypt. Or about the, um... What was it? Oh, yeah. Long, slow whisper. Because if I did, that would be real bad for you, huh? I may be dead, but I guarantee you ain't heard the last of me. Ooh, another really cool one. I love his little messages. They're bloody marvelous. Laying the groundwork. Anyway, back to the stashes. Very easy to get to from the last one, but you may get shot in the face along the way by these shrieking Watch out for that. Watch out for all these up here. Yeah. So I'd recommend clearing them all out before you open the stash so you can listen to it in peace. These knights are a pain in the ass. Right, but that was worth it just for killing that ass face. Here's one for Soraya Hawthorne. You know, when I told my ghost I'd be making one of these for you, she left. I didn't have to tell you that. I <clears throat> just wanted to make you feel bad. In my defense, if you're listening to this, you did kill me. I mean, if it was a fair fight, mano a mano, I'd win. No question. But I can see you planning out some convoluted, meticulous trap. Some would call that paranoia. Me? I call it being a hunter. So, here's your next hunter lesson. Looking after your own. Speaking of which, congratulations! You are now the proud owner of the Colonel. Now, she only eats sesame seed muesli and drinks purified spring water with a sprig of parsley. Play nice, you two. Hooray, Hawthorne's got the Colonel. Lovely. Moving on. Find the Shriekers up the hill. Here we go. Cade stash nearby. Ah, there she blows. Gotta get there. None of these are very difficult to get to. A bit of jumping and perseverance will get you up the top there. There's no real trick to the route. Let's open this one. This one's for any hunter who kills me. Best guess, Marcus Wren? You realize you get my stuff now. All my stuff. Including the Hunter Vanguard gig. Yeah. Congratulations, dummy. That's what we call a Vanguard dare. Sucks, doesn't it? Okay. Brace yourself for some advice, Hotshot. One. Know your people. Like my Nessus scout, Qantas Ree. I like to call her about once a moon, else she gets a little too much night. Not enough stalker, you know? Two. Keep your weapons sharp. Your job's to watch everyone's back, which means no one's watching yours but you. And three, start thinking now about what you want to do for your successor's vanguard dare. Because trust me, kid, this gig will kill you. Go away, I have such respect for the thrall. Anyway, after we found that last one, it's onwards to the next uh -huh. one. It's almost immediately. Down the hill, up the side, and here it is. Shoot thrall in the ass. My favourite thing. Sorry, 
I'm just, I'm imagining how awkward you must look right now. <laughs> okay, Zavala. So, I'm dead. You killed me. My stuff is yours. No more working me over at chess. No more getting worked over at poker. For real, though. You know that if you needed to kill me for the good of the city or whatever, I totally understand. No hard feelings. Nada. You can put this voice recording away and go on with your life. Now, if you did have some kind of lingering guilt or something, that would be rough. Because you and I both know you'd have me yapping in your ear for the rest of your days. You wouldn't be able to help yourself. We're getting pretty close to the end of this glorious mission. Ooh, look at him. He's a big boy. Hello, big boy. But nothing we can't handle, Guardian. Kick his face in. Kick the other bugger's faces in. And keep on going forwards. Doesn't say uh, cash anywhere yet. Ah, I just walked out of that old gazanus. It's the penultimate stash. Very easy to spot as it's right in the way you have to go. I see a glowy thing. <laughs> Hi, Ikora. So you know I'm making a bunch of these, right? I probably told you. I always gotta have the last word, and I'm gonna be prepared for every possibility. But to tell the truth, this one's the easiest to make. So long as we're being honest, I could never tell if you really like me that much. But, uh, well, if you did hate me, the feeling was not mutual. In fact, yeah, I'll say it. Don't even mind that you killed me. I figure if we threw down, first off, no one can blame me for losing. And I know you'd be in the right. So, thanks, I guess. You were a, a good friend. Better than a guy like me could hope for anyway. So, yeah. Thanks, Ikora. For everything. I love that one. It's great. Good old Cade and Ikora and Zavala. What a team, eh? And now he's dead. Anyway... Jump on over to here. You can see Kate Stash nearby. And this is the last one. It's very easy to find. No, it's not down there, cloth ears. Turn to your right. There you go. There it is. Over there. That's the last one. Hop over and have a listen. This is it, kids. This is the last one. This one's for the one and only Ms. Strong and Silent Type. I'm a girl, yes. Congratulations. I'm, I'm a girl. Buddy. I mean that. Always knew you'd outdo me someday. And if that means you had to do me in, too, well, you saved my life on Nessus, so I owed it to you anyway. Take care of the Ace of Spades, will you? I'm not just talking about the maintenance. Banshee can help you with all that. I mean, take care of Ace. Use it well. Oh, hey, and if you found any of those papers from my earlier... Uh, deployments? Burn them. Don't want people poking through the lives of Kate Zero through Five, so just put it all behind you, okay? Every story has an end. This is mine. <sighs> That's a big f fish. Here we go then. So after you've marveled at the size of that monster, go back to the tower, go to Banshee, and he'll show you his weapon. Ace of Spades is good as new now. Take it. When you wield it, remember. Remember. While old Banshee's having one of his brain farts, we'll have a little look at the Ace of Spades. So the first perk and the best one, Memento Mori. Reloading after a kill loads the magazine with a few extra damaged bullets and grants radar while aiming down the sights. This is marvellous. Yeah, that's sad. And then, of course, the other perk of interest, aside from the corkscrew rifling, the high-caliber rounds, is Firefly. Precision kills create a massive explosion. It's great. And also, there's smooth grip on the end. Oh, uh, Ooh, look, I've stuck on my last hand. Isn't it beautiful? Yes, I like that. Okay, my little hazelnuts, that's basically all I've got for you today. I know it was a longer one, but I really wanted to preserve the mission because I really liked it and I loved all the voice work, the voice acting, and I thought Nolan North did a grand job. So, enjoy your Ace of Spades. Shoot plenty of people in the face and watch them explode. And until next time, next time? <laughs> next time, up there for thinking, down there for dancing. Oh, and don't eat yellow snow. Sausages Gaming Channel